All right, guys, a little bit of an update. Look, 10 months ago, this is the first batch of batteries that I started selling. I thought, well, let me get into this battery thing and selling them, see how it goes, right? Well, 10 months later, this right here, I'm almost looking like a battery recycler. I'm not a battery recycler. I'm still just a YouTuber, um, tinker. I make battery things, right? But now I've gotten myself into this warehouse and now I'm processing a bunch of these batteries. The latest one is this. This is the new scooter batteries. We were all waiting for more scooter batteries. Remember this one's right here? We sold about, I don't know, 6,000 of these or something. These were great. And we, uh, you know, the first stage of these, we didn't know how to use them. So we had to take them apart. A lot of you guys took them apart and uh, salvaged or uh, harvested the cells. They were really good cells. They're the MH1s, right? These ones right here. Um, now, that's cool, except that that's it. There was no more of these, right? And so we were waiting for the next batch. And here is the next batch of uh, scooter batteries. And there's a lot of these. There's way more of these ones now than there were of those. And so that's good news. And so these are pretty similar. Uh, the cells are almost the same. It's just different manufacturer. These are NCR 18650B. We're uh, very familiar with those cells. We used to sell them uh, 3V West, right? The ones that we got. Well, there's a bankruptcy, right? For a company, uh, Delta, what, is it, what was it called? Whatever, some, some off-road vehicle, uh, motorcycle. But now they come in these, right? And they're, they're cool because they have their own case in this aluminum casing that is tough, very, very tough. It's weather sealed. It's got all kinds of like uh, silicon rubber that they put in there after they put the uh, the battery module inside and so they're potted in there uh, supposedly for shock absorption which I guess is true but I think it's also for weather sealing right uh, because the, the the cells are literally encased in this rubberized material now that's great the only problem is that we still don't know how to use these the way they are the bms inside is turned off and it seems like it's much simpler than these ones here but and so i'm very i'm pretty sure that we are going to be able to crack this pretty soon and get the bms to turn on and once we do that then we're going to be able to use them as is because look at this they even have the uh the connectors intact these guys uh that took apart all these scooters they didn't cut them in fact a lot of them still have the connectors, the other side of the connecting, uh, the connectors. And so that's pretty good. The little ones, not so much. This is a charger, but this charger. And if, if there are anything like the other ones, then we sh will be able to use a single connector, not separated the charging on one port and the other one, right? So anyways, that's what's happening. Now, because we don't know how to use them, I'm selling them in both like, like this, right so that you can get them and then you can try your luck at, at at figuring out how to use them we're also taking these and we're extracting the modules right off of the casing and to do that it's a little bit harder than the last one the last one would you would just pull it right out right but these ones because they're potted in there we have to use a saw to cut the aluminum uh, extruded casing right and then you have to use screwdriver and then you have to you know pull it right out it's a, it's a it's work it's not hard to do but it's work and then after that you end up with this brick that has uh all this rubber around it and then that comes really easy just with your hands here's an example of me taking one apart it's not that hard it is work it's not that hard when you're doing a few right but like us that we have like, you know, thousands of them, then it's a lot of work. So we're, we're sending, we're selling them, you know, with the casing or, you know, taken, taken out of the case. You can do the, the work of taking that because it's easy. You don't need no tools. You can literally do it with your hands, right? So once you do that, then you end up with these packs the way they are here. 
And unlike the MH1 packs that had that other clear rubberized thing that was really hard to remove, these ones, you have access to all of the, well, the balance leads, right? And the power leads here. So like in this case right here, this is what I did. I just put my own, I removed this specialized uh, cable here connector, and then I just put my own XT60, right? Because then this is a pretty common, and then that way you'll be able to use the thing. So I'm also working on a way to do the, uh, to do a connector for the balance lead so that you can, so we can make like a board that it's long and then you can, uh, you know, well, you can, you can connect the, the high power one and also the balance lead so that you can, um, you know, well, you can paralyze, right? Pull all these in parallel, all these packs, right? Now, the cool thing is that these also have already built in a connector. Uh, this is cool. The, the bad part is that the, all the contacts are full of that rubberized material. So I don't know. I order one of these little connectors to see if I'm, I'm successful at connecting and getting a good connection. Then we'll just be able to make a little cable that goes into another PCB. And then on this side, you will run, you know, all your, your balance leads so that then you can go to the BMS. And then on this side, you'll run all your high power connections, right? So these seem to be that they're going to be a lot easier to use before on phase one phase one is w before we figure out how to turn on all these all these uh, bms goodness that's in here because these are all awesome bms's that are already in there and we should just be able to turn them on right but before we get there there's quite a bit of work that needs to be done before we get there we could we could already start using these batteries and there are a lot of these batteries available so we should be able to you know have people start using them the, the price, uh, it's pretty good. It's just a, above, slightly above $100 per kilowatt hour. It's like $130 per kilowatt hour. These are on premium cells that they're potted in there. So, so I'm sure that's also a, a good benefit uh, thermally so that if one of these cells ever goes bad or whatever, then they don't catch fire as easily because they're potted in this rubberized um, uh, material that it's also fire retardant, right? So almost like the Tesla... Uh, packs in there so there we go these are the new scooter batteries 36 volts 460 watt hours uh, of storage and I will be able to build a, a box like this uh, just taller and then put a bunch of them in there and build a uh, power wall very easily 36 volt uh, power wall will source out some 36 volt inverters and that whole thing, right? So this is gonna be a full project. We're gonna build a bunch of things using these because there are a ton of them. I have a small portion of all the cells of all these, this product that's, that's available, right? And it's almost filled out my entire little warehouse here. So there are more of these coming in the future. And so that's why we're gonna spend quite a bit of time figuring them out. And then eventually we will be able to figure out how to use them as is, and then it's gonna be really easy. I'll be able to ship them to you just like this with maybe like a little board or a little connector or like in this case where we had like a little, you know, can controller. Uh, and then that's how we're going to be able to wake them up. Right. Uh, I don't think these ones are can enable. I think this is some other protocol, but I don't know enough of this stuff. I will have to check with my contacts and other people that know more about this so they can be able to figure them out. And by the way, if you are watching this, and you feel that you're capable of, of figuring out the, uh, the, the communication on these, the communication protocol. If you have a scooter that uses this exact model battery and it's working and, and you want to help us do it, reach out in the comment section of this video. I will send you some of these packs, uh, you know, so you can play with them. I will pay you, you know, whatever, whatever it takes, you know, to, to, to be able to figure out this is gonna it's a community effort right here because i don't have uh the knowledge to do this myself right so that's why i have to rely on other people that are more talented than me and so if that's you reach out to me because then we will be able to get this done and we will be able to uh, get these working until then these are available on the website i will have a black uh friday sale so keep an eye 
out for that. We will have discounts on these because we want to want to start getting moving these, get them out of here, right? Because they're they're bogging down my warehouse and I need my space there. All right, and with that, I say thank you for watching this video. We'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.